Hello everyone and welcome back to the Grand Rapids GOAT season mode. It's been a little while since we last caught up with the GOATs, so let me give you a quick update on their season so far. They are 9-3-2, and two, and today they're taking on the Pittsburgh Ironmen, who are a 3-11 and 11 team. But when you have a quarterback like Dan Marino, you always have to watch out for a team like Pittsburgh and right now of course the goats are in the battle for a first round bye or field or home field position throughout the playoffs they've already clinched their division and are just looking to give them the best possible situation headed into the postseason but we'll hop into the action in the first quarter and of course our goats are on offense offset eye Cunningham back to throw shovel pass to Chuck Foreman they've broken that out in, the, in recent games and it's proven to work pretty well and this one goes for about nine yards. Now second and short, pitch out to Chuck Foreman, and he will get the first down to the Pittsburgh 42-yard line. And now Cunningham will spread it out, three receivers, and he'll throw to the right side, and Rocket Ismail somehow. How do you drop that one? That one was almost picked off after the tip. And now it's third and eight. Cunningham short over the middle. It's caught by Foreman, but he's quickly corralled for a three-yard gain. And that will force the Goats to attempt a 54-yard field goal. Nate Conway from the left hash, and he drills it. What a kick by Conway. Perhaps his best kick on the season. It gives Grand Rapids a 3-0 lead. And now the ensuing kickoff from Conway only goes to the 15-yard line. It's fielded by Gary Clark, and he makes a spin move, breaks a couple of tackles in the open field, being chased across the 40, and he will go the distance. Gary Clark answers back for Pittsburgh, 7-3, the Ironmen are on the board, and that was a very poor kick by Conway after a 54-yard bomb for three points. We'll move forward later in the first quarter with under a minute to go as Pittsburgh is now on offense for the first time. Marino out of the shotgun, a back to his left and one to his right. They'll throw over the middle, and it's jumped and picked off by Eugene Robinson at the 50-yard line, and he'll take it to the 45 where Grand Rapids will take over. Let's take one more look at the interception. He's just dropping back, playing center field, and his breaks in the football. He knew where it was going. It was intended for tight end Mike Ditka, and he was having none of that. Grand Rapids football now from the Pittsburgh 46. Fake the end around this Cunningham, and he'll try to throw it away the last second. He does get it off, but he was drilled as he threw the ball. Second down and 10 high snap for Cunningham, and a handoff to Foreman, but he's wrapped up in the backfield by a pair of Iron Men defenders. It'll force third down and 12 as Cunningham spreads out the field of four wide, and he's hit almost immediately, and a flag is down on top of that. It's going to be a legal touching as the ball first hit an offensive lineman, and so it just leads to a Grand Rapids punt in Pittsburgh as the football. No damage done after the pick, and almost another pick. What is Marino doing with the football today? Second down and 10 lives to play another down. 5.46 to go in the second quarter. Marino going deep again for Ditka and it's tipped and somehow intercepted by Leonard Simpson how did he come up with this one did this one touch the ground it'll take a couple more looks you can see once again forcing the ball to Ditka it's knocked down and wow Simpson does just catch it before it hits the ground a beautiful interception and the Goats get another turnover off of an errant Dan Marino pass they'll begin this drive and go from the 43 Cunningham rolling out looking for an open receiver and out of the pocket Cunningham is so effective he finds Jerry Rice for a first down that'll get him down to the Pittsburgh 26 and now after a false start handoff stretch play Foreman with running room across the 20 a first down and plenty more inside the five he will score touchdown goats as Chuck Foreman takes it the distance and they take back the lead 10 to 7 now as Dan Marino lines back up out of the shotgun trying to avoid another interception and this time well yeah it's hard to throw an interception when no one's within five yards of the receiver so this is a first down and they're in goats territory now with 405 to play in the second quarter from the 42 yard line going long again and what a catch by Ditka a 360 one hander and he has a touchdown Pittsburgh with their first offensive score of the day as Ditka takes him to the promised land. Let's jump forward in today's action to two minutes to go in the second quarter. Pittsburgh on offense with a four-point lead. Pitch outside to the running back, and he is going to be stopped well behind the line of scrimmage. Just over 90 seconds to go in the first half. Third down and long. 
The defense chance erupting and they answer the call with a sack on Dan Marino. Fourth and 24 coming up as they go to a little bit of time to work with. Just over 45 seconds to go. The punt going away and back deep is Rod Woodson on his own 45 yard line. Fields with a spin move, a broken tackle, make it two. He's run past the third one, broken tackle again. Rod Woodson going beast mode down the sideline, touchdown. What a punt return for Rod Woodson. Definitely getting behind the electricity here in this capacity crowd. And look at this, three broken tackles, just pure strength and determination, and the Goats take the lead right before the break, 17-14. to 14. An exciting first half of action, including two special teams touchdowns from both teams. We'll come out now for the second half with Dan Marino leading the Pittsburgh Ironman offense onto the field. It's from the 39-yard line, first down and 10. Marino takes a snap, a quick pass to the outside, and he has a short completion on the sideline for about three yards. Now from the 41, Reno to throw again. Going deep over the middle, and Ditka has it. A broken tackle, and he streaks on the middle of the field, being chased and down at the four. That one was placed nicely by Marino. A jump ball for Ditka, who made the play. It's now second down and goal with 3.15 to go in the third quarter. Marino fires to the end zone. Touchdown, Iron Man. They retake the lead. Another lead change in this game. This time it's the wide receiver Lenny Moore with a touchdown, and the Pittsburgh Ironmen have a four-point lead again. Goats back on offense, a swing pass to Foreman, and he is just drilled the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. Now third and five. Cunningham, short step drop. And he sacked him off the right edge. That's going to be a loss of six and a three and out for the Grand Rapids Goats. Nicely done. It's Iron Man football with 1.35 to go in the third quarter. Marino, another out route. He's got his man on the outside. It's a first down for Clark as Gary Clark gets him out of bounds after a gain of eight. Now third and two, looking to get to the 35-yard line. Marino in the pocket. Room to run, maybe, but time runs out. He's sacked from behind. And that brings us to the end of the third quarter. The Goats will get the football. And they have great field position for the second down play. Cunningham drops back to throw. Over the middle. Caught by Harper. Almost tipped. And he has a first down across midfield. Nicely done. Tight window for Cunningham. And he hit it. So from the 47-yard line. Cunningham to the outside. Another short pass. This one to Rocket Ismail. That's good for a short gain of five. The Goals just taking what the defense gives them. Third and four. Cunningham stepping up. Looking for the first down himself. And slides ahead of the Pittsburgh 35. Good enough for a new set of downs. And now 3-4 to the go. Cunningham draw play out of the shotgun. Foreman up the middle. Running room and taken down after a gain of eight yards on first down. Good solid play to start off the new set of downs. Then hand out to Foreman again. And he will convert for another first down. A good drive going so far for Grand Rapids, and they come out with three wide receivers on first down and ten. Cunningham steps up, fires to the end zone, caught, touchdown, Rocket Ismail in traffic, it doesn't matter. He makes a terrific play on the ball, and Grand Rapids is once again the lead, 24-21. to 21. Only a field goal, just over, just under rather, two and a half minutes to go in the game. Dan Marino out of the shotgun, pumps, and is sacked back in the 27-yard line, a loss of seven. Third and 17, can the Goats get their defense off the field? Marino over the middle, deep, it's caught by Ditka, deep into Goats territory, down to the 30, and that'll take us to the two-minute warning, but what a play, again, by Mike Ditka, and that puts Pittsburgh in field goal range. Now the Ghost defense trying to clamp down, but did go over the middle again, a first down. Almost the entire passing game has gone through Mike Ditka on this one. Marino to throw on second and 10. He'll put it up in the end zone. It's tipped in incomplete, nearly intercepted. And that'll bring up a third down and 10. Now a minute 19 to go. Empty backfield for Dan Marino. Trips left. Takes the snap out of the gun. Evades the pressure. Fires to the end zone. Touchdown! Lenny Moore with a fantastic grab on the back end of the end zone. And that gives Pittsburgh a 28-24 lead. But Cunningham and the Goats do have time and all three timeouts. Just under a minute to go, third and five. Cunningham takes the snap over the middle. Cut, first down. Clinton Wilkerson at the 46-yard line. And the Goats call a timeout, their first of three. New set of downs with 40 seconds to go. Wilkerson again over the middle. That'll be good for seven, making it second down and three. But the Goats have reached Pittsburgh territory. Over the middle again, and this pass is just low. Intended for Jerry Rice. 
And now, fourth down and three. Last chance for the Goats. They need a first down here. They have to get to the 44-yard line. Cunningham takes the snap, fires over the middle, and Alvin Harper can't make the grab. And it's incomplete. And Pittsburgh is going to knock off the Grand Rapids Goats and send them to nine four and two and pretty much derail their hopes at becoming the number one seed in the playoffs and maybe even jeopardizing their hopes of having a first round buy so we'll see the standings the cyclones and americans are ahead of the goats and all the goats can do is win their last game and hope for the best they will end their season against the detroit firebirds before they head on to the playoffs and attempt to get their 10th win of the year so thank you guys for watching we'll see you guys next time have a great day